Hello again, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the third segment of my 10-minute series using the May 2021 She Lit of Card sketch from Alicia of Call Me Crafty L. Today I'm going to finish matting all the pieces and I'm also going to be rounding off the top corners of my sentiment pieces. In my first video, I, I shared a link to Alicia's video where she showed us these principal sentiments. And this is what a full sheet looks like. And there are hash marks here where you can cut it. And it's, it's about two by two and a half which is what this sentiment piece is this time. And she rounded it off and put a fishtail at the bottom. I'm not going to do the fishtail, but I am going to round them off. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to be using my Stampin' Up. It's got three different styles of corner, but this one's the corner rounder. So let's go ahead and start the clock. 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and do this and then start assembling the cards. This is going to go underneath this piece here. I have a color printer, but I have yet to figure out how to change this to, to the color I want. Okay, last but not least on this. Okay. Let's put that away. I found this. Adhesive spray at the, at the Dollar Tree. They have a new section now called Crafter's Corner. And there's not a whole lot that would probably interest paper crafters. There's a few things. But mostly it's for the, you know, kids crafts like the, the pipe cleaners and the fuzzy balls. Stuff like that. So let's try this. I'm probably going to make a big mess. I did, I did pull out some uh, score tape to use just in case. I think I might have to do that. We'll, we'll see. This stuff is really sticky, but just like anything else, you have to use it right. I put it over there and set my uh, stamp, my stamp corner puncher thing on it to see if that helps. Right, I am missing a piece. Okay.
it looks like I'm missing one of these mat pieces. That's crazy. Three, four, five. Hmm. Okay. We'll put these together and I will look for the other one. All right. Now I'm going to be applying that here, but because there's a little bit See how there's a gap there? I'm going to be using a mini dimensional. These are just the right height. Okay. Three. All right. Now we're going to put this one over this one like this. And I would be using a piece of score tape that I went ahead and cut off the roll to begin with. And I'm going to put this just to the edge of this flirty flamingo piece. Okay, there's that one. I don't know if you can hear that, but the HOA gardeners in the apartment complex next to us. It's kind of hard to talk over them sometimes. and a piece of score tape. Oh, this can be difficult. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's cut this one down just a hair. It's a little bit longer than I need it to be. Okay. There we go. Sometimes you have to do a little surgery once in a while if it doesn't look quite the way you want it to. As they say, look, look good on paper.
Okay. There we go. And we'll put this one on here. All right. These things can get stuck all over and you have to peel them off. Oh, there we go. Our 10 minutes is up. Okay. So we have three I'm going to be embellishing next time so without the embellishments these are done and then I have three more to finish I will find the other piece it's probably on just on the floor somewhere but if you would like to check this out it is at Dollar Tree in the crafter's corner section thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned for the embellishing next time have a wonderful day bye bye